Hey, it's Matthew back with the Huddle Haas and today I'm going to be doing another recipe. This is a hot milk cake. Um, this is a really good cake to have like uh, as a, um, with strawberries, like a strawberry shortcake. Um, it's, it would be similar to a pound cake. Uh, it's really good. It's kind of, it's not as dense, I don't know, as a pound cake. Um, and there's no, I don't think there's any oil in it. No butter or oil. Anyway. So uh, this is a good one. We're going to use it up with some of the strawberries that I picked the other day. And uh, yeah, it's a quick one, but it's a really, really good one. My Aunt Maggie was the one that uh, used to make this. And uh, I'm going to be making this out of, I've used this several times. Um, it's the 4-H family favorite cookbooks that uh, my 4-H club did years ago. Like I said, 94, 95. And uh, it's just another good one. Anyhow. Let's get to making this. So the first thing that I did was I greased and floured my pan. Um, and this is just a, um, I think you could use a, a loaf pan if you wanted to. I just like how, how it looks in the spring or the um, bunt pan. And so just make sure that it's greased and floured really well. The second thing that I did was I preheated my oven to 350. Uh, to let that uh, come up while we get this mixed together. And this is going to come together super, super quickly. You do not have to have a stand-up mixer for this. Uh, you could use um, a hand mixer or even a spoon probably. Uh, so, yeah, it's just going to come together real fast. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to beat four eggs very well. One... Two, three, and four. And so we're going to beat this until it's really frothy. Okay, the eggs are lighter and they're kind of frothy. So now we're just going to add our sugar in and we're going to add two cups of granulated sugar. And we're going to mix that together. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, and I always just measure that with my heart. A 
Then we're going to add in one teaspoon of clabber girl of uh, baking powder. And we're going to add in two cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to let this mix really well. Always make sure to scrape down the sides and the bottom whenever you're using this. And then we're going to add one cup of um, boiling milk. And I just stick it in the microwave until it's, it's you know, I can't leave my finger there. It's really hot. Um, but be careful. Don't put it in the microwave too long or you're going to have a huge mess because it uh, boils over. So having this turned on, I'm just going to add my hot milk. And you can, I don't know if you can see it steaming. It's pretty hot. So we're just going to let that mix, it's good, we're going to give this another scrape, and we're going to pour it into our butt dish, butt pan. And that's it. Like this is a super easy one. It's really, it's ingredients that you have in your house. Um, like I said, this is good for a strawberry shortcake. This is good just to make like a, uh, uh, a little glaze to put over it. You know, even a, like a lemon glaze or vanilla glaze to put over top of it. It's really good. And we're going to put this in the oven at 350 for uh, 30 minutes. And uh, if, you know, I'm going to check it with a toothpick and see, but typically it's, it's not that long. So I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, this, this took about 45 minutes and I'm going to put a toothpick in and it comes out clean. I like to do it in a, in a couple places to make sure. And I'm going to let this cool. You can see around the edge it's starting to pull away from the pan. And so I'm going to let this cool down just a little bit so that will happen. And then I'm going to put it on a wire rack. So I said I was going to put it on a wire rack, but um, <laughs> I don't feel like pulling it out. So I'm just going to check it to make sure it's come away and you can see how it's kind of come away from the pan. And then when I give it a little bit of a shake, it's, it's loose. And then it comes down to this. You know, sometimes you flip a bundt cake and it doesn't always come out so pretty. So I'm gonna do it for you here on the camera. So I'm gonna flip. And this one came right out. Look at that. Came out perfect. There's a little bit of uh, flour from where I uh, floured the pan. So I'm just going to brush that off because that will taste floury. But yeah, there it is. Look how nice that looks. So I'm going to let this cool and then I'll show you how I like to serve it with strawberries. Okay, our cake has cooled. And just going to cut a slice here. And 
look how nice that is. Nice and fluffy. So I'm just going to put that down. My favorite part of this cake is that little part down here that kind of gets wet. Um, anyway, so then I've just uh, put some uh, sugar, like a teaspoon of sugar on these strawberries. Um, and I'm going to put those on it. And then I whipped up some cream. And there we have it. Now I'm just going to try, Amy's going to run this over to her aunt that lives uh, down the road, she's 90, 96, 90, 95, 96, 95, 96. Um, her Aunt Alma, her great Aunt Alma. So she's going to run this over to her, um, and then I'm just going to try, because I'm trying to be good, but this is my favorite, one of my favorite cakes. I'm going to try this just to make sure it's good before we take it over to her. <laughs> mm. well, I just think this is one of the best easiest simple cakes that you can make works great with strawberries actually I'm gonna put a bite of strawberry because like I said I really am trying to be good and this is you know not low carb there's my bite mm. thanks for watching God bless